ghost file hijack. I have a virus. What do I do? Here's what you do. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech. All your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech. Number one channel with the news on deck. All right, the host file is a file used in Windows which it will divert particular IP addresses to another place. Um, malware often uses the host file to divert whether you're trying to go to um, a Microsoft site, it could divert that to go somewhere else. So it's a common target of malware. Um, I'm gonna talk to you specifically about the settings modifier Win32 host hijack file. I have it up here from Microsoft's uh, website. This uh, detection was First came out in January 14th of 2020. <clears throat> and let me show you where the host file is. The way you access your host file is you'll hit the Win key plus R and then you open notepad.exe. You need to open this as administrator. So the shortcut I'm gonna use is Control, Shift, Enter. That will open up um, this as an administrator. We're gonna go to File, Open, and you'll go to Windows, System32, and then to drivers and then etc you'll see there's nothing here i'm gonna go down here and click to view all files right here is the host and what the this settings modifier detection is alerting on this it's alerting on these sections here which are diverting choice.microsoft.com telemetry these are all being diverted to IP 000, they're blocked. This computer cannot access these sites. Now here's what's really going on. This detection here is a false positive. It's a false positive created by Microsoft Corporation because they do not like it when privacy conscious uh, people block Windows spying telemetry servers. These servers are all privacy issues built into Windows 10, which in this case, these have been added by ONO Shutup 10, a privacy tool that we use. This is also done by people who run Tronscript and other privacy tweaking apps which dis disable uh, Microsoft Windows telemetry. Uh, what telemetry is, is it's a data gathering service that runs in the background of Windows 10 and then transmits whatever that data is to Microsoft Corporation. People in, in my side of the table don't like to share information with anybody that we don't want to. Whether it's innocent or not, that's, that's not what privacy is. So, <clears throat> but in ca the, this detection can be something else. 99% of the time, I've never seen this detection except when someone blocks telemetry. But let's assume that there's some kind of malware that is um <clears throat> trying to block windows update for example well this detection could theoretically come up so when you open up the host file you'll want to see what is below see these things in um with the number sign here the hash mark they're not anything but everything down here these are entries um if you have the um the hosts of uh, detection then most likely you do have these things blocked if you don't see anything here that you don't want blocked, these I all want do want blocked. But if there's something like, you know, websites that you go to, uh, my, uh, Microsoft Windows Update Server, or security websites, most likely, um, most of the time when I see host file um, interference uh, from malware, it's malware that's trying to stop you from being able to use antivirus services. So it would block ESET, malware bytes, uh, Trend Micro. Um, <clears throat> all of Norton, McAfee, it'll, it'll block all of those. Um, but if you see these entries, it's a false positive. And Microsoft's not too happy about us blocking these telemetry services because it's a big part of their business. If you check your host file and everything's good here, <clears throat> and if you don't know what they are, you can literally copy it and you can Google search it. What is this? Paste it. Why is Microsoft, <laughs> see it's coming up. How to block spying telemetry services. So everybody here is talking about these spying services. I have this diverting to IP address 000. If my computer ever tries to communicate with telecommand.telemetry.microsoft.com, it's gonna go to 0.0.0.0, which means it just dies. So this is one of the methods that <clears throat> we use to block telemetry. Um, if you do find something here that should not be here, 
meaning it's not something that you want to block. Like I have Piriform blocked, which is C Cleaner. Um, <clears throat> and 12.0.0.1 is also local. You're basically saying that IP address goes back onto itself, doesn't go anywhere out on the net. If you do see something that you don't want to prove here, just delete it. Delete it and then hit file and save. And that's it. Um, if you're getting this detection and you're clear that the host file has not been hijacked, you're going to have to tell Windows Defender to ignore this detection. Otherwise, that's going to come keep coming up. I hope that solved the mystery on Win setting, Settings Modifier Win32 Host File Hijack uh, because it's not a detection. Well, it's getting a lot of uh, a lot of attention from people who think they're infected, especially my users who've ran Tronscript and uh, follow my privacy-related videos. If you found this helpful, please hit like and subscribe. And if you'd like to um, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. Also, um, if you want to support us on Patreon, it makes a lot of things possible. Really appreciate it. See you next time.